There's really nothing like Thanksgiving. It's about family, food, and football. Three of the four most important things in life. My Thanksgiving was great, little controversial. More on that later. There was a little traffic getting out of the city because of the Macy's Day Parade, so I had to take the FDR drive south, and that stupid app Waze, can't trust it, but I use it anyway. Speaking of getting lost, Joe Biden called into the parade, and here's how that went. I think I, think I should answer this one. Hello, Mr. President? I don't think I can hear you. Can you hear me, Mr. President? Yeah. Hello? Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. President. Are you there? Well, I'm Hi. here. Oh! Hi, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was so worried this call wasn't going to go through. How are you? There were a few hiccups on my Thanksgiving, too. In fact, there was a scandal, and it involved sharing. With you. I don't like it when people take food off of my plate, okay? But you just said what's mine is yours. Well, I didn't mean it! One of the best parts about Thanksgiving is the day after. I always look forward to making the leftover lunch. You know, you open the fridge, pull out the Tupperware, throw it all on a plate, and reheat. Or you can make yourself a Thanksgiving sandwich. Turkey, stuffing, and just gravy the bread like it's mayonnaise and just slap it together. I opened up my grandparents' fridge and started pulling out all the sides. Side after side after side. But I didn't see the turkey. My uncle had taken the turkey home with him. My uncle didn't buy the turkey, he didn't cook the turkey, he didn't even carve the turkey. But my uncle thought it was okay to bring the leftover turkey home with him the next day. Now I had to have leftover lunch on Friday with all sides. And I love sides, I had mac and cheese, green bean casserole, but I didn't have turkey. And he knows what he did, and he knows it's not okay. And he did a lot of other great things for the family that day. He cooked some other stuff, brought some great wine, and we're thankful for him, but he should have left the turkey. And Black Friday was a dark day for another reason. My phone was blowing up like a first round draft pick. Bzz, bzz, bzz. What is this? Every single time, another text about a Black Friday deal, about a Cyber Monday deal. Enough already. Whatever happened to Black Friday anyway? Remember people used to get trampled to death for flat screens? My producers told me Black Friday was dead this year. No fights, no tramplings. Why? Because everyone in America already has the hottest electronics. Even the poorest Americans have 65 inch flat screens. They don't cost 2,500 anymore. Where you might knock off, you know, someone out cold over 50% off. You can now get 65 inchers for 400 bucks. Plus you can just shop online. Why enter the octagon for a discount when you can just click your mouse and get it shipped? And what do you need all these video games for? You can just download them over the internet. So there's no drama on Black Friday. And I didn't go anywhere on Black Friday. I watched soccer. Now, all week, I'm hearing about this big match, United States versus England. And I'm getting ready for it. I'm thinking about it. There are no other sports on Friday. And I hear we had tied Wales. Wales, guys, we had tied Wales. So I was looking for a big win over England. I sit down and I'm watching. And I'm watching with some big time soccer people. And it's exciting. We had five corner kicks in about five minutes. But guess what? We didn't even get a shot on goal. How is that possible? Corner kicks are one of the most exciting things in soccer. And we don't get one shot on goal? And the minutes just keep ticking by and it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. And right when they start going into extra minutes, my TV goes dead. 
And Emma's fiddling around with the apps. I, I have cable, just not on that TV. And she gets it back up, thank God. But the game's over. We tied 0-0. And then I find out there's no penalty kicks. How do you not have penalty kicks in the World Cup? We're just going to tie? I get all worked up. And the people who know about soccer tell me, you know what, this is really good. I said, why? They said, oh, because England's very, very good. When is tying good? So I got all worked up for nothing. The president isn't even watching the game. Listen, I want to be patriotic. I love when the country goes out and beats other countries. And I have a lot of pride in American athletes. But we should be beating England. There are 330 million Americans. We can't field a better soccer team. Why don't we just put our track stars on a field and have them kick the ball? Right? And there has to be more drama. And just when I'm about to lose interest in this whole soccer thing, drama happens. We're playing the Iranians tomorrow afternoon, and some Iranian reporter, some weasel, lectures one of our American players on how to pronounce his country's name. And he plays the race card. First of all, you say you support the Iranian people, but you're pronouncing our country's name wrong. Our country is named Iran, not Iran. Second of all, um, are you okay to be representing a country that has so much discrimination against black people in its own borders? And uh, we saw the Black Lives Matter movement uh, over the past few years. Are you okay to be representing the U.S.? Now, the American player handled the question beautifully. But now, this game's a blood match. And if we tie the Iranians, I don't know what I'm going to do. This country cannot tie the Iranians, especially after what that reporter said. Is the president going to watch it? Or is he just going to watch little girls through the window? There he is in Nantucket taking a stroll with Hunter, doing a little shopping. I wonder if they got any Black Friday deals in Nantucket. And by the way, what's Cyber Monday? You get the same deals online that they gave to you on Black Friday. None of this makes any sense. These so-called deals, these ties, and these turkey thieves. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.